This is SNN. Good morning, Saugus. I'm Jake Schick, and today is Tuesday, November 22nd. And I'm Denny Willard, and this is SNN. Today is National Cranberry Relish Day. Oof, I can't wait. Only two more days until Thanksgiving, mm. and sweet, sweet Thanksgiving sandwiches for the week after. Please stand for the pledge. Please stand for the flag salute. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may now be seated. There was three math tutoring this semester over Tuesday, including today and Thursday, in room J1012 from 315 to 415, just today this week. The United States Naval Academy at Annapolis will have a guest speaker today and at lunch in the S Lecture Hall. Cadet Soto will be discussing the admissions requirements along with the academic, athletic, and military life at the Academy. If you're interested, sign up in the counseling office. Now the school invites you and teachers to submit letters or opinion essays for possible publication. The next issue comes out on December 9th. If you have a passionate or thoughtful view of a topic of interest, submit your draft to Mr. Clipfell and P1605 or any member of the Saga School. Make sure to include your name, phone number on any submissions. Juniors and seniors, if you have taken any outside classes at COC or other educational facilities that are not yet on your transcript, it is your responsibility to provide the registrar with your official transcript. Honor scholars are determined February 1st, so in order for any outside class to count towards your GPA, it must be, it must be to the registrar prior. There will be no exceptions after February 1st. Now, let's go to George Aguila with your sports news. Why, hello there and good morning, Saugus. I'm George Aguila here with your sports news. The boys' tennis team is looking for a number of male athletes that may be interested in playing tennis this spring. Open tryouts will take place next week, and if you're interested, see Mr. Jeffress for more information. Up next is track and field. Tryouts will be held on Tuesday and Wednesdays, December 6th and 7th during 7th period and after school from 3 to 4 p.m. Be ready with not only your athletic gear, but as well as a printed copy of your quarter two progress report when reporting to the tryouts. All athletes interested in track and field will need to try out, and this includes new athletes, prior track and field athletes, and as well as athletes who are currently in a winter sport. If you have any questions, you can e either see Miss Montgomery in Q1706 or Mr. Burns in M1305. Up next is boys basketball. Those tryouts for fall athletes will be from Friday from 10 to 11 a.m. in the gym. Now up next is a segment from Danny Willard as he explores the consequences of reckless driving. Good morning, Saugus. I'm Danny Willard reporting to you from SNN, the Saugus News Network. Recently, more and more teens across the country have fallen subject to what can only be described as reckless driving. Reckless driving is anything that you do in your car that can put you or another into harm's way. Today, I sat down with Nicholas Klima, one of our very own juniors, who told me about his reckless driving experience. Me and my friend Tyler, we're, uh, we're just getting off work. And we're gonna go back to my house to get ready for a party. Tyler has never seen me do any tricks or stuff in my car before. So I was like, all right, I know the spot by my house. It's like two minutes away. I can just go there and back to my house in like less than a minute. The last thing I can remember is just the trick going horribly wrong and us flying off the edge and then hitting the ground. We were at the top of the mountain and we fell 175 feet down, 60 yards. When we were flying through the air, all I can remember is just me thinking to myself, I'm going to die right now, there's no way I can survive. And then if it wasn't for those two guys, those two construction workers that came and saved me, I wouldn't have survived at all. And after a traumatic experience like this, Nick has decided just what he's going to do once he gets out of the hospital. If I get out of this hospital bed, I'm going to stand up to the other kids actually doing it and tell them, don't you dare do this. I, the risk of what happened to me is too great for you to actually just do a little trick and show your friends off that you're cool for doing it. Remember, Sagas, stay safe out there and don't drive recklessly. This has been Danny Wood reporting. You might be tempted to do some drifting in this weather. Well, think twice. <clears throat> yearbook is having an online sale on Monday, November 28th, where students can buy their yearbook for only $60. The sale is only one day, so act fast. See the website listed below. Yearbook sales are $70 with an ASB card and $75 without. The sale ends December 31st and can be purchased online at the website listed below. 
Speaking of yearbooks, they are also in the process of completing a proof of purchase senior tributes. Over the next few weeks, make sure to look for this proof to be sent to the email listed on your submitted tribute contract. There will be a deadline noted of the proof that needs to be approved. If you do not hear from yearbook before the winter break, contact them at the email listed below. Remember, tomorrow's schedule is not a late start Wednesday. Classes will begin in the morning and school ends at 1221. The schedule is posted on Saugus today. Well, that's all for today. I'm Jake Schick. Stay tuned for SNM Radio and Saugus today. And I'm Denny Woolard. Have a great day and happy Thanksgiving.